Hi guys, so today we're going to make this Indian style bidding invitation. So I've added a little animation to this card as well so that you can share this with your um, loved ones through you know your phones, WhatsApp or whatever. Um, and it'll be a really nice touch. Um, and if you don't want to animate it, you can skip the part where I add the animation and you can just um, you know download the PNG and then have it printed. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've already made this card over here. So I'm going to break this down step by step. And uh, we're going to add a new page here. And uh, I'm going to show you the color that I used. And uh, we're going to choose this um, nice shade of blue, uh, which looks like um, it has a little bit of green in it, in it as well. So this is the code. Um, if you want, I can share this code in the description as well for you to copy paste. Um, but yeah, this is the code that I've used. And uh, we're going to go ahead and mimic everything we did in this card. And for that, I'm going to go in elements and I am going to um, look for this uh, mesh thing, this arch thing, uh, which gives us a very um, Indian look. Um, or you could say a very Mughal touch, a very royal touch. We usually use um, Mughal uh, the word mogul with uh, you know synonymously with luxury and royalty and that's what um, you know Indian themed um, everything is about it's about royalty so I'm going to um, look for this thing and this is um, uh, also you know about um, this looks very Islamic as well so I think what I searched for this was so this thing is called the Islamic gate so you're gonna search that and this is where it is so we're going to add this over here you can of course choose anything you want i'm gonna since we're gonna recreate this card you can follow in the steps and you can also do the same thing that i am doing so we will change the color to this shade it's a um, cream color shade and you can see the shade uh, number over here and i'm gonna change it to that so after that we're gonna you we're gonna add these little windows which you can usually, you know, you can see these in Mughal architecture uh, in India. And these are called Indian windows, I think. That's what they're called, an Indian window. Yeah, so this is the one that I um, chose. And that's what I'm going to be adding here. And I'm going to make, I think the size is fine. Maybe I could just make it a little bigger. Just play it around, play around with, you know. I'm going to change the colors to, again, beige and or cream shade. Um, we don't want red there because it's too loud. Um, the golden looks nice. It gives this enhancement to it. So we're going to keep that. Um, and we're going to duplicate this and we're going to put it here. But we're going to give it this uh, sense of uh, like it's a little far behind. So I'm going to make it smaller. Not too small, but yeah, I'll make it smaller. After that, I want these, you know, peacocks here. We're going to add these flowers and these uh, leaf garlands and these, you know, palm leaves. So we're going to start with the peacocks. And this is all free, you know, you don't need the pro features for this. You're simply going to be using all the free features. Um, so, you know, you can see that there are better peacocks and um, if you have a pro with membership, but, you know, I'm not going to spend that money. So I'm just going to go for everything that we have uh, for free over here. Um, let's look for the peacock that we like. So we had a bit of a connection issue there but that's fixed now so yeah let's look for the peacock um so this is the one that i used um i think i changed the colors a bit as well but yeah this is the one that i used and i'm just gonna make it smaller and make it seem like it's walking on this window and yeah yeah we're gonna place it there and um uh, yeah i'm gonna change this shade of um um this shade and do something like this and i'm gonna shade change this a dark shade of green just because and on this window um we're gonna go for this peacock here this is the one that i chose we're gonna flip it though um so it's facing this side and we're gonna place it here so it can seem like it's you know standing on the window and i think it looks pretty nice <coughs> now we're gonna add some you know greenery to it so that it looks um nice and tropical and just very um green because i think it looks wonderful here so yeah so i'm going to look for um palm tree leaf leaves yeah so i think i used 
I use these. I think I use these, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna make it smaller. I'm gonna change this and we're gonna place it here. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna flip it and make it a little bigger. But we're gonna send this behind because as I said, this window is, um, I'm gonna make it look like it's in the front, right? So I'm gonna send it backwards. I'm gonna do that until it's behind the window. Yeah. And now we're gonna go for some leaf to put in over here on the ground. Hmm. So we're gonna go for tropical leaf and we're gonna go for this particular one over here. And I'm just gonna make it big enough so that it fits. I'm gonna bring this peacock <coughs> in the front, so I'm gonna send it backwards. Yeah, so that looks nice. Hmm. Yeah, it looks pretty. Um, we're gonna add these um, leaf garlands as well, so I'm just gonna look for this one. It's tropical green leaf, right? Hmm. So this is tropical green leaf. We're going to look for the exact same one, and I think this is the one. And this is um, not really. Yeah, so we're going to delete this, and this is the one, Tropical Green Leaves. So I'm just going to adjust this over our little window here. I'm going to make it a little smaller. I'm going to place it in a way it looks like it covers the window. I'm going to send it behind the peacock. And there you have it. That looks really nice. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to send it here. I'm going to send this behind the palm. Yeah, and that looks really nice. Um, now we need to add these little lanterns that are falling, uh, that are hanging from the arch. And um, for that, we're going to look for Ramadan lantern. And I'm going to use this particular one, which is Ramadan Islamic Ornament Lantern. So let's place it like so. And we're going to change the color to this beige shade. And I'm going to be adding four of these. Like this. Hmm. So let me push this a little bit back. Yeah, so that looks nice. Um, now we're going to add these leaf. And these are called leaves on wine illustration. So I'm just going to copy this. And yeah, so this is the one that I used. And I'm going to be placing them over here. I'm just going to be rotating them just in random patterns. So it looks like they're like wines. Um, so yeah you can figure this out and place them however you'd like I'm gonna just do this in a random fashion and I'm going to flip this horizontally and I'm going to adjust this in a way like so and um <laughs> hmm. I think that looks fine. Yeah. So after we're done making this um um this pretty like background for the text for the card, the base and everything, we're gonna be adding the card invitation text to it. So we're, that's just going to be very generic, and I'm gonna go with um save the date you can add whatever you'd like i'm just going to be like speeding up this process and um, you can follow through you can add whatever font you'd like and uh, just play with it whatever you feel is uh, speaks to you just go with that 
um, you can find this uh, exact template um, in the description below. So you won't really have to work hard if you don't want to. Um, by that I mean you don't have to follow this tutorial if you think it's too it, it, if you think it, it's going to take a lot of time, you can just um, go ahead and use the template and you don't have to search for anything. You can just um, change the text however you want. So we're going to, I feel um, cursive would look good for save the date. So that's what we're going to, that's what we're going to go ahead with. So I'm, I think I chose the font breathing. Um, these are Canva fonts. So I'm going to place it here, right in the middle, and I'm going to change the color of the font to this shade um, but I am going to make it stand out so yeah and I want it to be glowy so that looks nice and in order to make it stand out I am again going to go in the yeah, and I'm going to do the outline so that it's glowy as well as um, shiny, neon. So after that, I'm going to just write some generic text. You can just follow ahead and uh, you can change all of this. And I'm going to just write from C. <sighs>
Ta-da! Now that it's done, um, as I said, <coughs> if you'd like to send in um, an animated um, invite, you can add an animation. I'm going to go for golden stars. And I'm going to go for... Um, golden stars and I am gonna go for this animation over here and yeah after that you could just click share and download it like this in mp4 and if you don't want this animation you simply delete it and you can just download um, it as a PNG hmm. there you have it and that's it. If you like this video, you can simply subscribe, tell me um, what you liked about it, and you can also download the template, go to Canva, make an account, and use this template. Just change um, everything, customize it in your own way, and maybe show me what you did with it. I hope you liked the tutorial. Bye. See you later.